Do you like changes in your life? But what if I told you that you have to do something that makes you feel uncomfortable? Comment below, will you do it? You see, most people think that change is hard and that's why they often hate it. But that's not true. People like the results of change. They just fear about the process, the disruption that change seems to cause. So the problem isn't about the change. It is the way of how we are approaching it. A few months ago, I was coaching a young leader who was overseeing a new team on a major project. His approach was focused on efficiency and timely completion, which let him frequently question the team whenever there were delays. So over time, he noticed that his team was increasingly reluctant to communicate with him and often making excuses to avoid meetings. This situation left him feeling demoralized and hopeless. And that's why he wants to seek some advice on how he can change to become a better leader. So I asked him a question. What does a better leader mean to you? And he replied that a better leader is someone who is a good listener. He also told me that he wasn't good at listening. And that's why he wants to find ways of improving his listening skills. Although he has been putting in some efforts to listen more, he kept explaining to his team why he needed to get things done fast. And that is the sign of resistance to change. You see, the reason why I'm telling you this is because most people believe that change starts when they think about who they want to be and then they begin to work on improving themselves. However, speaking from experience, knowing who you want to be without understanding your why will not work because change only happens when you first understand your why. And then we reverse engineer by making changes using a five-step approach. So what does this five-step approach comprise us? Let's jump in right now and deep dive into this. Okay, before I deep dive into the five-step approach, let me share with you these three sets of questions for you to ask yourself to uncover the why the need to change. Like for example, in my client's case, he wanted to become a good listener. So that means he can ask himself these first questions. Why would you want to become a good listener? The second question is, what does it mean to you if you are a good listener? And the third question is, what would possibly change if you have become a good listener? So by asking yourself these three sets of questions, it will help you to think deeper and also at the same time uncover the real meaning behind the need to change. So after you have uncovered your why the need to change, it is time to proceed to the five-step approach. Step number one, change your environment for example in this scenario you can ask yourself how can i create a safe and positive environment to start listening to my employees how can i start to create a supportive culture of trust openness and sharing so by start changing or creating a new environment it helps to kick start your transformation process step two change your behaviors once you start creating a supportive and safe environment for your employees to voice out their opinions, ideas or concerns, it is time for you to consider reflecting what kind of new behaviors I need to change to start listening to my employees. You can always start with 1% first to monitor your progress and milestones along the way. Step 3. Change your perception. Once you start to see some tangible results, your perspective will change. You will start to have a new perspective of seeing yourself differently. Like for example, you will think that, oh, I can become a good listener too. Step four, change your mindset. Your mindset will start to change once you see people reacting to you differently. And of course, you don't want to go back to your old self again. That's where you start to believe in yourself by developing a listening mindset. Step five, change your identity. After a period of time, your new identity will emerge where you begin to adopt the habit of listening. It is like brushing your teeth. You don't need to think about it. That's where you successfully abandon the old identity and embrace the new one. As you are adopting this five-step approach, along the way, you may gain sufficient insights that produce results. And you will continue to repeat these new sets of actions and behaviors. And that's where transformation happens. So those are the five steps approach to cultivate change without any resistance. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment to share with me whether you find this five step approach useful. And that's all for now and I'll see you in my next video.